to the Friendly Geordies podcast mm-hmm. with uh, the Three Stooges. Which one are we? Which what one? are they? It was just like Curly, Larry, Sammy. <laughs> was, was your cousin one of the Three Stooges? Yeah, he was. He was. Didn't they just? Uh, what was I guess the I'm the fat one. But <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the difference? Miss loves the brains. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What was the difference between them and like Grou- Groucho Marx? Was he one of them? How did that work? No, the, that no, was the Marx no, brothers. Marx was a uh, highbrow humor for the day. Really? <sighs> Look, <coughs> I'm going to be honest. I've never watched any of them. Neither have I. <laughs> Who has? Has anyone? Yeah. Mm. This extremely old man from this Melbourne theater that I'm always going to is. Oh, like, Lithuanian Club. Know? Yeah. Those guys. And yeah. did you know Did this? you know that the Three Stooges were Lithuanian? That's why we like comedy. Uh, oh, your show's about John Howard. Don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I've heard about I that. didn't know they were Lithuanian, so I learned something. Yeah, I've learned something. All right, well, welcome to the Friendly Geordies podcast. We Before we went on break, we were talking about Chris Minns. Jordan was explaining how Much he gained him. power. So continue. How did he How did he become the top dog in yeah, New I, South Wales? I, I'd like to know, too, like... Because uh, now I'm getting these two sides of the story. I'm getting that he was some, you know... Cow, uh, bush ranging, firefighting, cow raising dude, and mm-hmm. he was a yeah, yeah, yeah. He barista. Was a pastor, obviously, yeah, yeah and, and he and lived in Paddington with his wide courtyard. He herded many a sheep. Well, I'm, I'm well, getting. Well, I'm hearing that on one side, look, and I'm hearing that he was a barista in Paddington. So let's look at it? his uh, Wikipedia page, just as an idea yeah, of who our next overlord is. Finger crossed. Ultimate source. Um, well, isn't it's, it great that he has the Vouch hair and he's using Wikipedia? I just be like, let's just yeah. The son of a school principal. His dad was a school principal. Or oh, uh, maybe his mum was. Um, he's very handsome. Means was born and raised in St. George area. Hey, that's kind of close to where I live, where he studied at Marxist college. No. Marist College. Jesus, you stop injecting your mm. fucking history. Old school labor, right? <laughs> he holds an undergrad degree from University Marxist. of New England in Armadale. Ooh, so not a real uni. Yeah. <laughs> a- and won a scholarship. What's the degree in being himself. And won a scholarship at Princeton University. That's something. And he did a master's Princeton. in public policy. That's cool. He's not a lawyer. That's one. Okay. Uh, bonus. Well, that is a but bonus. But he's a long staffer, correct? Uh, okay, so Minns was first elected to the office in 2004, so not really. No, I mean, before that, he was always just in the machinery of the Labour Party. Yeah. He uh, Minns has previously worked in the charity sector for youth mental health charity as a firefighter and, as an, ad- <laughs> and as an advisor to New South Wales government. And as the assistant like secretary dialogue. in the New South Wales Labour Party, <laughs> uh, he's from Hurstville City Council. He joined the Labour Party in 1998 when he was 18 years old and was elected member of COGRA in 2015. It's not as bad as I thought, you know? Yeah, that's right. He's a uh, Neil's representative. Right. Yeah, he is Neil's representative. I thought he was like literally Malcolm Turnbull. <laughs> what do you mean? I thought he was... Can you elaborate on that a little bit? <laughs> Not really. Yeah, no, that's the end of that. Okay, okay fine, fine, fine. Well. I'll give you a bit. I think he was literally the same as Turnbull, uh-huh. apart from being in a different body. Ooh, okay, surprise theory. Just chucked into the last minute. Body snatches. I like no, that. but do you get what I'm saying? Do you understand? Mm, you, uh, look, I'm going to be honest. No. I'm saying he's. I thought he was labor, uh, labor version of him, the labor version of him. Um, I suppose. Can you give me just a little bit of eastern hey, suburbs? I'll like give you climber, ex corporate. He's not Paddington. eastern suburbs though. No, I know, but I'm, I'm real. I'm look. You're teaching me, is what he I'm is saying. He's eastern suburbs. All no, right, he, last like, paragraph. So just area, so though. we all are on the following. Luke Foley's resignation of the role. Min's nominated for the roles of New South Wales Labor leader and the leader of the opposition. On 10th November 2018, Minns lost the leadership spill to Michael Daly, 33 votes to 12. Minns lost the leadership election to Jody McKay on a combined caucus and party membership of 39.5% to 60.5%. Hey, that's telling me that he's not that popular in the party. Oh, shit. You're gathering that, are you? Yeah, he was appointed to the portfolio of transport and corrections in the shadow cabinet. 
So he's a he's a new guy. That's something. But is clean slate. What is that? Uh, the clean slate thing. Clean slate. Because I keep hearing this over and over that he should be new generation. He's younger. But I'm in Miss Love's camp with this. I think that really what they should do is just say, "Hey, Keating, how old are you again? Ninety. And they're just okay. You're the premier now. <laughs> <laughs> that with age comes experience. Yeah, wisdom. I really think that. And dementia is just another form of experience. Yeah, and it's yeah. almost like dementia is almost like a. Uh, and you, you want to talk about fresh experiences? It's a fresh experience every day. Exactly. Dementia is almost like a, a like a self. Uh, what do you call it? Sensor. It's like you know how we have a con. Everyone has like a sense self. A sense of themselves. A conscious. Yeah, we I don't know if you do. Not me. Not me. Ali and I. Yes, More yes. demented people Correct. in parliament. That's exactly what we need. But here's here's a question. <laughs> I agree with that. Here's a question. I because this is something that I uh, I appreciate about him, and I think Jordan, you might be in disagreement with this, but I was reading somewhere that he is. He is off the opinion. Chris Minns is off the opinion that Labour Party needs to move away from its union base. Which I agree with. Which is really? why it was put on ice originally. And look, you know what else? I see the argument, but I don't agree. Ah, man, I really don't want to talk about this. I'll put the camera in on a lot us. of trouble. Okay, okay, okay. Well, well, no, 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 no. I mean, I'm not going to get in a lot of trouble. It's just that let's just say that Rage, the up. media gloss over that Chris Minns got of being the anointed leader. Uh, as usual, is not the reality of the situation. And there's a lot of tension in the party as a result of Chris Minns becoming the leader. Mm. And I think that, look, if I'm going to say anything about unions not having as much influence in the Labor Party, I definitely do see why they want that, which is that they want less faction men holding control of the party. It's Kevin Rudd's view. He definitely is. My problem with it is I think that if the unions have less influence in the Labor Party, it's only a matter of time before they become the Democrats. Right. Well, what's wrong with that? Democrats get elected. <laughs> I mean, true. I'm, I'm That's just saying. very true as well. They get elected. <laughs> Labor the Democrats Party. Democrats are also more psycho than Malcolm Turnbull. Right. So it's kind of just this thing of, Wait, yeah, you, you get mean, the Labour Party. You mean the US Democrats, right? US Democrats. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're talking about the Australian Democrats. But so I'm yeah. just saying, look. I, I, Finally. A party sense. that loose up lights. <laughs> but uh, come on. like there's <laughs> Only because of the slogan, keep the bastards honest, yeah? yeah? That, yeah. Shooters and fishers, close second, all right? <laughs> yes. End of that. No more... P- <laughs> <laughs> and I talk. like the fact that they kind of screwed around with the GST and made it worse, let's be honest. But it was you already all... fucked to begin with, might as well screw it up more. <laughs> but do you wanna do you wanna win or not? Yeah, do you wanna win or not, damn it? But at what cost? Right. That's the question. I don't know the answer to it. I just know that Kevin Rudd is right in that what happens with factions is that usually they get a lot of dunderheads elected into parliament. Dunderheads. And they have a few smart people within each faction that kind of herd the rest of the cattle around and make them vote the way that they want them to vote. And if you want somebody who's smart like Kate Washington or Kevin Rudd, um, they need to claw their seat back from a marginal slash liberal safe seat that they don't care about. But usually the safe seats go to some real dullards that they just want there to Dude, do I their s- bidding. I understand that point, but I just think that there's a greater threat of getting rid of it. Here's the here's another point. Mm. What's done is done. you got to get behind the Labour guy. Because, what, do you want Gladys back? Well, she's going to be No, there. and I will say, honestly, because Jack, love him to bits, he's an avid listener of this podcast. Jack that's Lang? That's why I'm on my best behaviour at the moment, otherwise I would be bouthing off him. A lot. Yeah, I'll uh, just put you on the camera that is basically shows the back of your head, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, why isn't uh, that zoomed into us? Just swivel a bit. Swivel you can learn way. a thing or two I'll, from I'll this new techie. Swivel. No, 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 I want him to be out of shot. I'm trying to get him hidden. Hey, I'm getting him out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you, Entirely. Are you literally going to crop him out? What, what are you going pl- to you gonna focus that on? The aquarium? What's that going to do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Jordan's out. There you go. Done. Jordan's been cropped out. <laughs> you realize they can still hear him though, right? No, but it's just a close-up. You're on thin ice, champ. Be careful or you won't have any cameras on you. <laughs> It'll just become the... Jack will... I'll become Jamie. 
Huh? I'll become Jamie, exactly. but without any computer in hey, front we'll of get, me. Wait, or we'll get your we'll get your replacement, control. the up and coming YouTube star. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> he will not be uh, named. So many booby traps in one segment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's too close, Ali. Oh, God. Anyway, this podcast go on. should be renamed Landmines, shouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, be sure not to get Jack hammered. I can't believe you actually <laughs> cropped him out. That is fucking No, that's hilarious. that's how well, that's how it's supposed to be, miss. Oh, There's one close-up of Jordan. We get one each. Yeah, so one close-up of us and then three. one three. Yeah. See, I may be the new techie, but he'll always be uh, boss the young techie. Yeah, yeah, boss, the head honcho. Oh, uh, shit. Miss, you were right about something. I just noticed something. <laughs> Uh, Chris uh, Mintz, Banks is alive. Born, <laughs> born in Paddington. Well, that was really yeah. Jordan. That was really Jordan. And there you go. So, it, so it's fucking true. He's not a country boy. No, he was a latte sipping yeah. freaking hipster. No, I'm uh, off him again. Good. I've off him made some bad. <laughs> That's the end. That's it. Not my, he hasn't got my support. What, what's this independent to Hashtag go for? Hashtag not my opposition leader. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's, the, who's, the, who's the next best independent to run in the state politics? It's called flat white and not latte. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Flat white. White problem. White privilege. Flat white male. Flat uh, oh shit! I like that flat white male. That's pretty good. I hey, like patent, patent pending. Send me the money if you uh, copyright <laughs> that. I'll just we'll just go on a trust basis here, okay? Uh, by your silence, I assume that you are understanding our arrangement. Uh, <laughs> um, well, dude. He's, the, he's a fucking. That's that's just a. Well, look, we just, we know that you were a fan of Michael Daly and. Uh, Daly. I suppose I thought he was good too. He, yeah, we all thought he was good, but uh, not Asian Australians. No, they Asian thought. Australians liked him too. I think it was just more. There's only one seat was, that went down, and it was Chris Mid's seat. All the other Asian seats went up in vote. It was a little right. bit of damage from, but like they didn't lose those seats that they were expecting to lose. Right, right. Uh, in general, though, the Asian vote wasn't affected by that because, let's be honest, Is no there... one really cares about those comments except the Sydney Morning Herald. <laughs> Do Asians, <laughs> most Asians vote liberal anyways, right? Good oh, question. I don't know. I, don't know. I you can't assume ju- that it's all the ones from commie countries that <laughs> for the Liberal Party. Mm. <coughs> yeah, but that's all of Asia. Nah. Is it? No. The red, they call it the red continent for a reason. <laughs> they don't call it that. I just made that up. Right, right. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Switch seats. We Geo switch brains. on the fly. <laughs> um, but look. So I suppose you can't say too much on account of, you know, we're live right now. and No, but know, look, this is what I'll say, right? I don't want you to, you know. The feel argument that I hear for Chris Mintz is that he knows how to handle the media the best in the Labor Party. I think that that is definitely true. Uh, he knows, this is according to Jack, how to package messages in a way that will get cut through in the press. I also think that he's from that staffer class and I think that the media is kind of just like, hey, it's somebody else that's had bullshit jobs your entire life. Yeah, he's one of us. <laughs> I, th- I really do think that it's that much. And so then they see somebody... Like Daly, for instance, that was like, you know, I was labourer for a bit. And, um, let's be honest, am I still a labourer now? <laughs> what, what am I going to, Are we going to build this uh, brick or what? Are we going to, we going to make this parliament? Uh, yeah, I, I joined labour. some renovations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I joined, <laughs> as <laughs> a labourer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was one syllable away from labourer, and they're the ones, uh, you know, the public sector. They build things. That's why I joined. <laughs> That's what Labor should be. I'm not voting no, for I anyone. I actually think that. I think that that is what Labor should yeah. be. I think that they make better decisions than people that sit around in that professionalised class of the Labor Party because but they I can, actually have some experience but, but with I, the working but class. But I can also extend an olive branch to what Ali's saying, which is like, look, he's handsome and people like him. And good sneaker game. I, I noticed don't that. I know if that's true. I think that actually the average person did like Michael Daly. And if right. you see both of them speak, okay. it makes a lot of sense. It's that uh, Chris Mintz is very polished. He's yes. very articulate. Yeah. But, but Michael Daly wore glasses. Like he's running for student council. <laughs> <laughs> but what? Michael Daly wore glasses, so it's even. Yes, and let's not forget this. He had a gut. And I think Hell that that's yeah. better than being handsome. Well, hey. 
It's not a beer belly, it's a fuel tank for a sex machine. Yeah, okay, thank you. Isn't this great? We have a constant reminder of Christo's incessant barbs just there. Yeah, his two jokes plucked for all eternity. Uh, I don't mind it. That's I like yeah, it. you don't, do ya? Because it's factual. Uh, well, look, I, I guess we'll just have to uh, see what happens with this. So he's not in. Or no, he's in. in. Right. He got in uncontested. No, no, he's in. He's and in. the so reason that he did is there was a lot of pressure from the Labor Party machine and obviously the press was trying to usher him in. And this is the problem that I have is that why was the press so insistent on getting in Chris Minns? I'm always yeah, really dubious. dubious about that. He does look a bit it, like the Laramie Cigarettes guy too, doesn't he? Does he? I think so. Get that up, The Ali. spokesman? Yeah. Who, or are you who, talking about the Marlboro Cowboy? No, I'm talking about the uh, the spoken who? It's like, kids are dying. Just write Simpsons Laramie Cigarettes. I no, no, no. That's more the lawyer's Paul's villain. So that's yeah, is that more him? Like. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, maybe I got that wrong. No, anyway, Chris Minns looks like a slightly less buff Chesty Bonds. There he is. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, maybe you're right with that. I'm seeing more of a resemblance between him and Smoke and Joe Camel, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I see this as a win-win, Jordan. Yeah. Look, here's the thing. Let's but let's not... We're gone. I'll tell you why. Can you see my reservation? I understand, but I, 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 could, I see your reservations, but I think it's a win-win for you because, look, we all know Gladys is most likely going to win Gladys, the elections. Yeah. So if... He gets if he loses badly, he's out. If he is able to lose gracefully, then he deserves another shot. So maybe he's not that bad. No, I, I don't necessarily think he is going to be bad. I think he actually might be a good performer. It's so fucking lame. It's just, it's just that it's that one thing that I've got. You know, it's so lame to speak why in those terms. Why are the enemies too. in his? Well, but why are they? It reminds me sort of of when Julia Gillard took over from Rudd mm. and there was a huge support base in the, in the media when uh, Julia Gillard came in and then it just got pulled out underneath as soon as she did something to piss them off. Right. Ooh, the old bait and snatch technique. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I've got about it. But um, yeah, I, I also know that the... Uh, rank and file of the Labor Party was livid that Jodie McKay was voted out because she was put there by the rank and file. Mm. And understandably so, because damn, she is likeable. It's because she was a woman. What? The rank and file voted for her? No, that they took her out because she was a woman. You heard it here first. (laughs) Dude, you know what? It's, It's really amazing to see the woke faction of the Labor Party Work knots around that to be like Joe McKay. Fuck you, fucking Joe McKay. She, Isn't she your dream? Yeah, but she, uh, I, she, she, she. It was unfair on her. What was she unfair? didn't, yeah. Jody. Like she didn't get a proper shot. No. Nah. Neither did Michael Daly in his defense, but <laughs> no, dude, no one got a fair. Shot. <laughs> no one got a fair shot. But that's what's amazing about Daly is that they were polling at twenty two percent when Daly got in. And he bolstered up their vote to about 35%. And he was in for four months. I think that the more people that see Daly, the more they think, yeah, mad. A suburban dad. <laughs> That's a premier. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I still say bring back Bob Carr. Bob Carr. That's just my opinion. What the hell? Oh, is that that? I'm of the same opinion. Well. I don't think that Bob Carr is yes. of the same opinion. <laughs> <either>. <laughs> Bob like, Carr. I don't even think that. Again, I don't think that Bob Carr knew he was premier. I think he <laughs> thought that he was yeah. a lecturer at UNSW. Yeah, yeah, the whole time <laughs> he was. He was. <laughs> well, so I guess that's all that we have to say about Chris Minns. It's too early. Let's just it? be too optimistic. Early, you know, but I will say that the fact that one of his first acts was to really go in with the cemetery reforms and hit Gladys hard on that, that was a great strategic move. And that is what the people that support Chris Minns say is why he should be the opposition leader because he's going to stake out the victories that Labor needs to win to make inroads. What's the... the, Give us a background of cemetery reforms. What's that about? I don't know anything about it. All I know is that the churches were pissed off at it. Chris Minns saw an opportunity... And, you know, it would be nice if someone who was religious voted for the Labor Party 
post-1951. <laughs> hey, I have discovered God again in this day and age, and I will vote for Labour so you get that one person. That's true. But look at that cross on him. That's the main reason the missile's always on the fence. That's right. Dude, my don't cross you? isn't here. My star moon and crescent is here. I don't know the difference. What, why are you pointing to one part of your chest and then another? Well, uh, the ch- this, is, uh, this is my heart. Yeah, well, what's this? This, this is, is just the, bone. Yeah, it's just bone. That's where he keeps his cross on his bone. I, I lost so you're this saying metaphor. he's a fake Christian and you're a real Muslim? <laughs> yes. Okay. The man that is just, constantly disparaging. He's <laughs> just always eating pork. <laughs> well, it's because. He comes from a family of secret atheists <laughs> in every Muslim country. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. Let's not get. Let's not expose well, look, me. That's, that's what am I, a QAnon you, member? I'll, I'll give you this, Ali. Your mum did throw out that Hindu statue. That's I gave right. Of you, that's Muslim enough for me. <laughs> that's right. That's there so you go. Throw it out. And what a shame as well. You really should have given it to Mirsav with the foresight that one day he'd be on Tinder and he could give it to one of the many hipster chicks that he's slamming. Damn, pussy for Ganesh. <laughs> Wish we could go on a break now. I really do. We're not going well, on a break. That's not happening. We're, we're going to be discussing. Podcast, that's getting published. We're going to be no talking more even. about your <laughs> Bumble escapades. Yeah, that's, there are none. that's the third segment. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, there's no point in me defending this anymore. Uh, the second one is, the second segment after this is, will Miss Love go on a date with a man? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't allowed to say it, but I didn't say it. That will not be the second segment. Guess well, what, guys? All I'm just saying is that there is a man that is very fancy on Miss Love, and we're all yes. pushing him to go there just just to see if he likes it. Actually, Try it out. That's I agree. It's like changing from Cotty's Cordial to Tip Ribena. Top. <laughs> to that, Ribena. But here's a question. Well, I like Ribena more. So <laughs> I, I have a hypothesis that Miss Love is a gay icon. He, like, gay, I think gay men <laughs> like you way more than straight women do. Well, what's there not to love? Can we confirm this? Um, yeah, of yeah, our if you audience. are a homosexual, identify yourself <laughs> and tell us what you think about Miss Love's ass. <laughs> yes, please. This isn't the up late. What are you guys doing? <laughs> this is the point oh. where we talk about Bhutan and how happy they are for two hours. Where little boy Daddy Do says Miss Love made me gay. There you go. What a converter. So, Miss Love, Thank you are you. You, you're That's in a gay icon. <laughs> He's done what they've all dreamed of doing. Oh shit! I'm gay. You're wrong. Well, there you go. Oh, what? What? What are you? What That's are you saying? Slum. Not gay, but I'd still root him. <laughs> right. Okay. So, well, this is what our hypothesis was a couple of podcasts back that Miss Love's demographic is straight men. That's who he should be. <laughs> I mean, look, you're right though. The the, the 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 level at which I attract straight men is unparalleled. You know. That's 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 for yeah, some dude, reason. Yeah, like, dude, I, I like why. you, but I've never thought of fucking you. Well, you're, you're in the a minority. I'm too straight, man. No, there's nothing. There's, it doesn't make there's nothing gay about when you have sex with another man, right? Just a bit of fun. Um, uh, uh, prison no. rules, eh? Hell yeah! But oh like, shit, <laughs> our viewers are going up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's clock four sixty. Well, um, apparently there's some internet issue right now, so um, people aren't able to tune in. Well, that what? does make me feel good. <laughs> Makes you feel good well, too. Well, it is great, isn't it? That we still have an audience much bigger than people that have been doing Twitch for 12 years. Straight. Is that true? Yeah. Without tits too. Exposed tits at least. Dude, that, uh, <laughs> that, you got, that has to make you... The only thing to say that is... Ha, ha. Yeah. The only thing to say. You heard the man. But let's not forget, there was like... We always, it's always too easy for us to gloss over the fact that Jordan locked, locked himself in a small prison cell, essentially, a small cave for like seven years. Well, it's still going on. I mean, it's still going on, but like, different cell. you know, that is, I know that like, uh, I, I am obviously the boomer of the group, but it doesn't take, I take every opportunity I can to be like, wow, he really did hunker down and work hard. It's good he read those self-help books. Those books are amazing. Really makes you think. Don't, don't forget, he re- he did put the, the hours in. No, this didn't all come free, Ali. He didn't. That's because of the hours. This that's thing. actually free, Quinn. Well, ba- bad <laughs> example. Bad example. But that fucking uh, Tamagotchi. Thank you, Road. We appreciate you. That Tamagotchi there was. 
also free. Also, actually, ah. most of yeah, this one isn't free. Everything, that, everything was given to us. That's what happens when you get. Okay, okay. This is okay. This is what I'm trying to say. The first two years of your uh, video making, you weren't getting free shit. Fair. No, I wasn't getting any free okay, shit. There you go. And now people are just I beg to defer me treats in my cave. Yeah, and I, love I that. beg to I love defer. That. Defer your course. You, you nearly died. I consider dough to be free money as well. Okay. All right. That's a very and fair Little, little, well, little known fact. Back. You do like this you man the in his very early days was indeed a, a, a Centrelink employee. <laughs> for, not an employee. Hey, he was on door for like. Tasmania's highest employee. It is a poll going, by the way. Miss Love, your ideal romance slash bromance. And it's shifting. Very rapidly. I think that's because the internet's down, though. Mm. What, what, what? Sorry, go through it. Uh, Here, look. It's not read looking, it out, it's read not, it It's out. not looking good either. There's a new poll. Miss Love, your ideal romance slash bromance. Hell yeah is on 27%. Jeez, it's J numbers, all right. What? Who? From the last poll where uh, Jay Leno all of a sudden made a surprising comment. Oh, Jay. Yeah, back from this, guys. Also, what's uh, up no, with everyone? Let's have a beer first. Fair. Is 40%. That's a normal yeah, reaction. Yeah, it is amazing. Miss Love triggers in a lot of straight men to question whether they're homosexual <laughs> or not. <laughs> That's a it's compliment. It's gone up to 50. Are you serious? <laughs> that is it's a that. landslide. <laughs> that is so rare in data points to get a 50%. Swing. <laughs> but I do mainly attract straight men that are like, I'd like to, uh, uh, you know, get Korean barbecue with you. It's like, well, dude, that's expensive. I don't know who you are. I like hanging out with people, but like... I'm not 20 anymore. Like, what, what are we going to talk about? Like, how crazy uh, would it be to suck my dick? That's that. The word straight would imply that that doesn't happen, Ali. No, but, but that's your stick. You're making people first, gay. Does yeah. Does it? Yeah, that's beer amazing. first. Okay, so Second is penetration. Right. So weird. Not attractive to gay men, attractive to curious men. <laughs> I don't even... Maybe, yeah, 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 curious. That's hot. Just curious. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving away. We'll keep an eye on that poll, but here's the... Oh, okay, let's talk about this. <sighs> yeah, yeah. she's too into it. Logan Paul versus Mayweather. I know. What are you guys' predictions? I, didn't that already happen? No, not yet. Well, I swear... No, he did. He, he, no. he tied. He tied with him. No. Pretty sure. Google that shit. <laughs> My news is very outdated. If I'm right, that'll be... Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. Someone reads the news. On a political podcast. Who doesn't won know who the opposition leader on is. Sunday night? <laughs> Floyd Mayweather outboxed Logan Paul. Oh, I thought it was a tie. Eight rounds in the exhibition by rule, uh, but no official winner. Yeah, tie. Dude, I'm going to give it to fucking Me Logan Paul. fucking too. I think it's incredible. But you know what? Okay. I'm a fan. And, it's Rocky. And you know what he did? He entered the ring with a limited edition, like $300,000 price tag Charizard limited Pokemon card laminated on a necklace. YouTube makes it mainstream. I mean, That's make crazy. that shit mainstream. No, but like, dude, come on. Didn't Logan Paul get knocked out by like that British YouTuber? I think he's pretty... And draws with, like, the greatest boxer of all time? I think he's pretty good. But the greatest boxer of all time is, like, Bob Carr's age now, right? No, uh, Floyd Mayweather. How old is he? I think he's in, like, his mid-30s. But, dude, he's... Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, I think so. He's not old. You're thinking of, like, Mike How Tyson. How old was he when he fought for Oscar De La Hoya then? Like, I 10? I think you're I thinking know. of... <laughs> I think you're thinking of, like, Muhammad Ali. Yeah, you're thinking of, like, Ty Ty what's his name? Uh, Mike Tyson or some shit. Look, let's be honest. I probably just watched Rocky Three and think he's Mr. T. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was born in 1977, so that oh, makes him... Not 30. Very, very old. Yeah, like, uh, close to 40. Oh, shit. Wait, he fought... Okay. No, no, more than 40, actually. Yeah, I'll... Uh, what's your name? Jordan was right. Yeah, you're right. Older than 40. But still, dude, yeah, look, Logan Paul is a YouTuber. Logan Paul is a YouTuber. He does have former heavyweight champions training him. That was 
Some of the best YouTube footage I've ever seen in my life was after 44, he lost yeah. against uh, whatever the fuck his name is. That British guy. KSI. KSI. Right. Yes, that's probably his name. Must well, be, yeah, you know, like Elon Musk has a kid that's yeah. just a binary code. <laughs> yeah, guy. that's it's the future. Um, but yeah, there was this guy who had that classic voice of getting punched in the throat too many times. Uh, and it was amazing, just Jake Paul yelling at him, being like, you didn't tell him to weave enough, man. He's like, man, look at all these other motherfuckers. As soon as this motherfucker loses, they all gone. I'm still here. I'm still here with y'all. I'm one of the palms. Just <laughs> you're here, but makes you're himself one of the family <laughs> without anyone else's permission. That's amazing. Now you've joined. Yeah, like you've that's joined, who you want on your side, right? Mm. You've joined the YouTuber family. His dad, his mum, who's really you know scared and tries to keep her face off camera, and of course Logan Paul's dad, who makes out with underage girls who have. Mine folds on. Boys, this Welcome is... to the family. By the way, just so you guys <laughs> know... Works for me, dude. This is like... Yeah. <laughs> there is my family, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Internet has crashed. What, like uh, the internet? Because of how popular we are. <laughs> because of no, how no, popular of my poll. That's what happened. Uh, Too many <laughs> straight men that want to have a midi with me. Stig just messaged saying, Twitch has crashed for a lot of people. It seems me included. We'll have to watch it when it comes back. What? Apparently, it's because Fastly CDN has been going down intermittently today. So, thank you, Malcolm Turnbull. Oh, shit. Is the point. Shit. Is the moral of the story. Yeah. Look, you know, that I is really like that barb in there. You should be in the boxing ring, Arlo. <laughs> that is actually also the other thing is people want you to box uh, Gary Awesome. Just oh my god, I would watch that. Far out, dude. Wouldn't we it could, be sad if I lost. I could, I, dude. We could train <laughs> you. I would up. bet on me losing. No, no, no. We could train you. Well, up. I love we you, but I'm not betting on you. <laughs> yeah, I could, even I could just train you to beat that good dude. Because man, just one. Solid I just hit. remember what someone say. You guys should do an exhibition match. You versus Isaac Butterfield, and I thought, hmm. Six foot eight man from Newcastle. Yeah, I reckon I could take him. Jeez. And then I just went over to one of his podcasts and he's just like, Yeah, so basically I'm an MMA champion in Australia. And I was just like, Okay, don't like my chances as much. <laughs> but uh, I think my girlfriend's done Taibo. So. <laughs> Muay Thai. No, no, no. What's it called? Wang Chun or something? Yeah, Wing Chun. Wing Chun. Yeah, which Wang. by the way, <laughs> those are, those, that's not a thing. Those are crispy. Dude. Those are crispy chicken wings. Did you know it's? I think they are as well. Did you know what's really funny about that too? I was reading a lot of the comments from that podcast we did with special guest Tom, and like unanimously, everyone's like, "Yeah, Wing Chun or whatever the hell is it's called is just a fake. It's just Tai Chi. It's like someone comes at you and you get punched in the face and your nose breaks, but you just do this. So it's like <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not. It's not a vibe. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't. I gotta say, two is very unhappy. She just came in just before we started and said, "Everybody keeps calling me Tom now." Yeah. So I'm here to say, keep it up. Please keep it up. Good yeah. going. I mean, it's funny. Yeah, <laughs> it has to be done. I mean, you can go for a she real name. She needs to know that's her real name. If you can pronounce her real name, go for it. But you'll need a degree in I don't know sociology. Like, I think gun, so. Gun. Damn. You would have to be that Damn. linguist that was in that movie about contacting <laughs> aliens. That's racist. Yeah. <laughs> um, She'll get your laugh. Uh, but yeah, like... Well, our numbers just went crazy. Up or down? Up. Very up. What the hell is going on to with this internet? Eight. To over 1,000. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too much strange whoa. fright. Jeez. Welcome to the, the friendly Jimmy's Vod Podcast. Yeah, Everyone joining us. We've, uh, there might be more people listening to us than Ben Ford. Hopefully. Yeah, Probably are. Yeah. Um, I think that most of the people listening to Ben Fordham died and their radio's just still going. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh so oh, hard at that. It's probably that. true. There is a lot... There's a lot of truth to that. Like, yeah, like that that guy... How, how the fuck did he get on 2GB? Wasn't he on 2 Well, TV? it's a little thing called graduating from his mother's vag. But didn't... <laughs> didn't, didn't they... Pure nepotism. Usually didn't, does it. Didn't he... Uh, wasn't he on the footy show? I swear he was on the AFL show. I think that's what he wanted to be as a sports commentator. I mean, and I he, he couldn't cut the mustard. And so they gave him a job at 2GB. And I heard this. I can't say that this is true. 
But somebody that used to work for him said, yeah, this new gig's great. All I have to do is just bag lefties and I've got a job for life. Well, yeah. So he's not really into it. But you can tell, right? The way the guy speaks, I, that I guy should just be commentating university NRL. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's accurate. I, I don't think he should even be in media. He should be... Well, I mean, his audience did just halve... Uh, not halve. Go down by a third. A third? Wait, down by... So he... Kyle and Jackie are almost beating him. They're almost wow. the number one radio show in Sydney, which has never happened. Because 2GB will always have that contingency of, like, you know, boomers, frankly. Even boomers, the golden generation. Oh, golden, the golden generation. My people, my people. Yeah. A golden generation is also the late generation now. What's that mean? They're dead. Yeah, they're the late generation. You're right. Not all. The late show. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, but if you listen to it, it's so obvious because all the ads are, do you need your w- World War One German hat polished? <laughs> Actually, I do. I've got some. What do about nappies? You, well, let's be honest. You need them. I'll just I'll send them. <laughs> What's this diaper stuff? <laughs> we back to nappies. Do they still put hey, this? Hey, I've got nappies here. While we have a huge audience, what about this? Well, I put it. on a nappy in the next podcast... And I try and piss myself to see how much it retains. I am liking that. I'm, I'm liking that too. Uh, but how Is that this? a sexual thing? Wait a sec, wait a sec, Jordan. Maybe. Can we do this though? Because we're desperate for support. Can we just say he will do that if we get like 20 new Patreons? No, 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 no. How about yes. this? How about this? We, can't we prove sell that. his piss to nappy. That's too much. <laughs> well, there's a guy that Dude. buys Miss Love socks. I haven't even sold my freaking beard hair. I think someone did someone throw that out. If no one bought it, dude. Throw it out. Yeah. You cunt. I'm sorry. That I was worth two dollars. Bag. You know what? And also we because our, our apartment it. flooded while I was gone because of my stupidity. I, I let the entire tank drain. I saved the fish's lives. You saved the fish's any, lives. Any what dead? you did not save oh. is our electrical co- equipment, which was incredible. We came back. Oh really? Christo- That's not true. I- Lifted most of the shit off the ground, didn't I? No. Oh. Well, well you, you can't get them all. I, I think that what you might have done is maybe lift the chairs off the ground. And I definitely... The electrical goods I definitely, in the water, I definitely, which is incredible. <laughs> we walk in, you open the door, water seeps out of the apartment. Ooh. Miss Love isn't here, but his bag is... Christo and my editor had been filming a long day because we did that John Barillaro stuff. It was 9pm when we came in. Apartment is soaked. There's electrical goods sitting in a pool of water. <laughs> uh, his bag is there. Everyone looks at each other and thinks, yeah, okay, employee of the month yet again. We walk in. We start editing for another two hours. He comes back from the sauna. Why did You want to get that on record. He's been getting fit. Yeah. You take note of that, all those curious straight men that are watching. All yeah, right? That's right. <laughs> so you, you came in, wait, 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 you came to the apartment, you saw I was flooded and you said, I think I need to go for a swim. No, that's not what happened. And I, ugh. not enough water in his life. It that's reminded true. him that there's a pool downstairs. Look, firstly, like, oh, that reminds me. Closes the door. Goes look, firstly, I think like a lot of the visual aspects of like the autists, they get sort of this sort of like visual distortion. <laughs> Damn. So you know, not so I think that there was a little bit of like you know, they see we see a can, they see a hexagonal flying orb. You know what I mean? So it's like, well, was that was that reality or was it them just projecting Age of Empires two? And they're like, there's a moat there. Oh no, no, oh no, no. That's the that's. The Okay, so that's, what, that's what, my retort there. You give but your version. <laughs> but second, <laughs> it's very valid. It's as well. valid, but second, sec, like, I don't. I, 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 hard to take uh, anyone's word for uh, anyone on his team's word at face value. Pretty hard to do for me. <laughs> but so what but happened? Like, What's your version? Uh, look, I will. I'll extend an olive branch to Jordan though. I, uh, I lifted. I did lift up. So I mean, look, I came in. I, was, I saw some patches on, I'll tell you the whole thing. I was some patches on the ground. And I was just like, show one. You know how your brain does that weird thing of piece, piecing together like patches of like reality? And I was like, someone dropped some water. Oh no, someone must have dropped more glasses of water and more water. And then I looked <laughs> Whilst up. Whilst he's like ankle deep in water. He's like <laughs> and, then, and then I looked up and there was like Swimming. that much water in the tank. And I was like, ah! Anyway, crisis mode, refilled that. 
But to extend, to, you know, <laughs> so more water was on the ground. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, I did that, and then to install an olive, olive branch to Jordan, though, I definitely lifted up all the electronics here. Well, they're working, yes, but but all but, the electronics there, yeah, which are the, just off camera, the, which I assumed the, he didn't think were important because well, they're not on camera. <laughs> no, no, no. I saw the electronics there, so I lifted fifty percent of the electronics up. I saw them there, and I was just like, <laughs> you know, I, I analyzed the situation. I said, ah, they're fine. Just left them. And so you went Look, for a swim. This is not what I'm yeah. really concerned about. Electronics come and go. Yeah. My concern is you could have died. Really? Yeah. You reckon? The whole apartment is flooded. Fuck, what's well, electrical I goods didn't. in a pool of water. Yeah. And I know from experience of you walking through a meth house yeah. without <laughs> any shoes on that I wouldn't put it past you that you were walking around without any shoes. I did have no shoes on. I did have no shoes on. Jeez. Okay, next uh, time that happens, uh, go. No, actually, you know what? You know what? No, yeah, no, I did amazing. have no shoes on. I Everyone, did have no shoes on. Yes. And the only reason I put them on, it, it, how good is this? The only reason I put them on, I was just like, I was like, mm, my feet are getting cold. <laughs> so I put shoes on. But can I just explain Everyone's something? Everyone's always saying this. Someone from the Friendly Geordie team is going to die for the cause. <laughs> <laughs> but can I just explain something? Look, look, look. You guys just tell me. I, I don't know if, if enough about physics. But say this is like, say this is a, uh, no, this is better. This is the, this is the PowerPoint, right? Everyone can see the PowerPoint's here. The thing's going here. Doink, doink, pink, poink, you know, the, the powers. Yeah, supply. extension, yeah. Yeah, those things. So this is it, right? The electricity's all, you know, all up here, right? The water has seeped from around over yonder into the, into the, into the, you know, Carpet, Miss Love, you are making yourself less mm. and less of a credible witness with each word that comes. Miss, out do of you your think you're an electrical uh, uh, engineer? Uh, uh, look, look, look! I'm gonna shop, but look, what is hitting here? It's not coming in here. Right. So your understanding of electrical sockets is that they are a boat and they float around, and well, after it, that, that's it, all fine. Well, the water was there was no water. It was like that. It was just damp, just damp. The floor was damp. Yeah. So it wasn't like floating in water. No, that's true. It wasn't floating in water. Not even close. There was a lot of water in this apartment. But nevertheless, it wasn't there was no water coming in mm. to the sockets. Mm. I wouldn't it wasn't raining. My life on your <laughs> <marriage of the, laughs> yeah, but I think I have a point here. Miss I think fair. I should have probably had shoes on. But Is anyone an electrician? Can we get Can someone a, tell us that? Because <laughs> no, someone, did, did, someone did say it. One of the I mean, I have stuck my finger once. Once I did stick my finger in an electric socket and zap my whole arm and I probably nearly died and I was like 20. So I'm not, I haven't got the best track record, but nevertheless, <laughs> I one. think it stands that it wasn't raining. You know? Yeah, you were indoors. One person that knows <laughs> something just said, Miss Love, you, you were like almost dead, Slav. <laughs> no way. That's just conspiratorial right there. It was fine. <laughs> no shoes, in water, electronics on the ground. Well, that's a big fish tank, so it must have been a lot of water. How did it you clean up? a lot of water. Uh, I'm, I realize I probably shouldn't be talking about this on Why? the podcast. I'm not getting my bond back. <laughs> Dude, no one in this building knows what a podcast is. Don't worry. Uh, yes. Let alone the owners. <laughs> and it is a huge surge of chance because when we first saw the name of the building manager here, his name's something like Les Chung or something. We we're just like, damn, he is going to be a stickler for correctness. Unbeknownst to us, he's not an Asian. He's an Azen. <laughs> and if anyone knows less about electronics than Miss Love, it's going to be a guy hey, that the dresses like a Persian. Right. And I'm pretty sure lives in Ali's suburb. Well, I'm the height of electrical. He, he's the guy He's the guy who created Ohms and then there's me. So, you know, I'm not that low. <laughs> <laughs> Ohms right. law. Right. Zapslav. <laughs> you guys are all being very melo overdramatic, if I may say All right, so. okay. I don't know, I just find it concerning that I know more about your life than you do, as in I recall more about it, and I yeah. seem to be more concerned about your life than you are as well. You seem to think that when you die, it's in a computer game and you get another go. <laughs> that's not how it I works. that's why you got the cross. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
If I need any proof Fuck. that God exists, it's that. Oh. You are a lucky I'm a lu- man. Really? You're, you're yeah. really? So what, how were how, 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 uh, Dumb and Dumber taking it? <laughs> dumb and Dumber? Yeah, how, what were they saying? Uh, they were concerned. Right. <laughs> but also had the opinion that if he did die... It is well deserved <laughs> and needs to be in the Darwin books. Well, you know, one's <laughs> survival is finished. One, one might be having a, a little a bit more of a harsh fate than me pretty soon. So I guess Karma's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's All right. enough for that. That's way more testy than Chris Mids. Also related to New South Wales politics. More coming soon. Let's let's go back to Chris Mids. Uh, actually, let's not. But how about? <laughs> You don't want to get Miss Love angry. He'll start releasing state secrets. It'll be <laughs> Julian Assange pretty soon. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, what embassy are you going to run to? Embassy? Uh, yeah. All that talk about Bhutan. I go there. <laughs> yeah, they'll protect you. They'll doubt- protect you with like all 15 people that they have in their country. <laughs> All right, fine. Against Russia. like, let's be honest. They'll look at how relaxed his eyes are and be like, "Buddha, is that you?" <laughs> or maybe <laughs> try Croatia, minister. considering Croatia that they right. may accept you. The only one that will accept you. Come on, Ukraine, Ukraine. No, the Ukraine will look at your eyes and be like, eh, "We've got enough of that." <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about this? Here's another segment. Oh, God. <laughs> Usually. I am all praise for China, but here's a moment f- f- from They've for us to say, fat. China sucked in. Well, oh. just because, like, apparently, um, you know how they were doing the trade war to punish Australia? Well, it kind of backfired. Really? Yes, because <laughs> they stopped trading coal, but one of the consequences of, like, corona and them doing the trade war was that iron ore prices quadrupled, mm-hmm. and Australia made a killing... <laughs> A lot of it from China as well. Wait, wait, say that again. So basically what happened was that China said no more coal, no more wine, which was like small stuff. The the, the other thing is like China is really dependent on our iron ore. Yeah. Because, you know, the whole uh, infrastructure industrial complex thing yeah. that they, the yeah, way of they, course, of course. Yeah. So, so they, they need iron problems. ore to yeah. keep making buildings, yeah. which is, and that's, that's actually our Achilles heel too. Like if China says no more coal, no more wine, yeah, it kind of hurts a few people, but we'll be fine. But if China says no more iron ore, mm. then we are actually fucked. But <laughs> China yeah. didn't say that and frankly couldn't say that because of their need for iron ore. But one of the things that happened was mm. that iron ore prices skyrocketed because um, after Corona, Brazil just kind of shut down. So we actually Dude, we listen, are, shut down. Well, we shut are down the in the sense country. that we, we are, are truly the lucky. We country. are just the here's lucky another country. here's another lucky drink. Jesus, the mislove of nation. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm like, it's good that I'm in this country because it's just appropriate. It's the Frank Grimes quote: "If you were in any other country, you'd be dead long ago." Yeah, yeah. 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 Miss laugh. <laughs> Well, thanks for that addition, whoever that sorry, was. Yeah, no, 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 but, uh, but what I'm saying is I think the moral of the story is that usually we criticize the U.S. for doing all these heavy-handed moves. It's time for us to say, China, you tried to pull a U.S. and you got sucked in. Mm, yeah, look, I'm really showing my levels of patriotism here. I'm kind of sad that that happened. Shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> But we, uh, anyways. I, I was hoping that this was going to act as a lesson for every other country on earth oh. that you shouldn't be escalating wars. That is true. In a country that uh, has nukes. You yeah. do make but sense there. Your that openers are always questionable. Your openers are always questionable, but your analysis is on point here. Look, yeah, I, I agree. And it also Great. gives, like, fucking Frydenberg oxygen to come out and budge. It's like, we are on track to recovery. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's because you you, you, you hit the jackpot, Just dude. Luck. You went to the roulette table, and it ended up on the number that you chose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true. And also, it's Saddam Hussein-level propaganda after the first Gulf War when the U.S. withdrew on their own volition, and then he told everybody, I turned back the American giant all by myself. Baby. <laughs> that's what he means. Yeah. It's just complete luck. There's no difference between him and Frydenberg except the accent. Yeah. You reckon China's nukes are any good? Yeah. 
No, nah, they don't work. <laughs> they don't work. <laughs> don't they definitely I'm work? I'm just imagining <laughs> they shoot them. I'm they imagining will they shoot. blast our ass so hard. Right. I'm just imagining they shoot them and then like all the like material, you know, goes away and it's just like one guy on like a thing with dollar signs. <laughs> but you know, it would be it would be hard for them to hit us because we're like too far away from them. No way. Like you yeah, need to travel a we're lot. Big target. Yeah, but like no. Okay, let's just Darwin can get <laughs> they they could suffer, but we wouldn't. I don't it's know too far that. away, Good on dude. Darwin always taking one for the team, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, like I'm not saying that they, their missiles can't reach us. They definitely can, but we have a lot of time in between to like Shit. shoot them off. Pew pew pew. Is that what happens with nukes? That yeah, they, they, it the can Star happen with program nukes. Was such a failure, but. That's what, like, the Israeli Iron Dome is. By the way, uh, uh, update on that. Uh, Bibi Netanyahu is bye-bye Netanyahu. What? Yeah, I heard about that too. He's wow. gone skis. This is even bigger than Logan Paul almost beating Mayweather. Let's not go crazy. <laughs> let's not nah, go crazy. Nah, let's, that's the biggest um, news story. But, sorry, but, sorry. What, was it like I an don't withdraw Arabic? my comments on China. Was it, a, was it an Arabic dude that... No, of course not. I made that up. There was something I read No, about, there's no, never going to be an Arabic, Arabic president of Israel. <laughs> that's what I thought happened. I but, read what, it. But, but what you are saying is kind of true, which is... That the Arab uh, Israeli vote bank helped that process. Ah. What happened? Tell me everything. Yeah, and and, what and, you- and and how about this? Bibi Netanyahu is now uh, pulling off a Trump. He's saying this is a rigged situation. Yes. Total democracy in shambles. I'm not going anywhere. But, but like, but isn't it? Like, but they're kicking him out. But isn't it the kind of thing of like unbelievably radical change? We've gone from a right-wing Israeli extremist government to a right-wing government. Thank God. Isn't that just what's happening? Pretty much, pretty much. I think... Uh, uh, Slightly, Ned- yes. L- Yarmulkes. They get filter fish specials on two days a week less. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get sued by... Come on, where's the drug? Oh, shit. Nah, well, that's that's fine as well. Both of them. That's Sorry. Okay. Here we are. I'm here all night. Jeez. <laughs> I told you that hat was all the qualifications you need. So tell me everything. Well, else I think w- other than these from uh, the Israeli g- g- filter fish chain. From the Israeli <laughs> perspective, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu fucked up because, dude, this was a net loss for them. It exposed them as not being nearly as popular as they used to be uh, is because you know like back in the day and sorry i don't know if this is like kind of anti-semitic or whatever but like i don't understand what yeah, anti-semitism yeah. is anymore because i thought it was being discriminated towards jews but it's also like a lot of avoiding buzzwords but so uh, you know back in the day before social media uh they used to be able to control mainstream media really really easily so the narrative just never got to the point where people could legitimately say, no, Israel is kind of wrong. Mm. But that's not the case anymore. It's right. super fragmented. So yeah. all over social media, they were getting a hammering to the point where the in the US, they did a, a poll and 49% of the people were, pro, were for Palestine, which is insane mm. because it's the US. It's, yeah. And so basically, I think from the Israeli establishment's point of view, it was like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you are ruining all our political capital. Also, this particular situation, you could have handled better by, like, just giving those people that you were, like, um, getting those Sheikh Jarrah residents, like, uh, some houses or some shit. Like, it's just not worth it. But Netanyahu's policy was, like, muscle him, muscle him. Because it's kept him in power to this point where it was just too much. So I think even the right faction was like, all right, look, he fucked up. Let's get rid of him. Get some other right wing guy. Right, right, right. Do you think that Netanyahu will be back? Nah. He was already, like, I don't think, I think if he's, he's gone, gone now, he's gone. He might be like a Trump-like figure. But he, because he used to be a thing in early 2000s as well. And then he went away and he came back. They, oh, okay. So could, what are the odds that he could come back a third time? Could happen. I thought that they'd be really high because according to Netanyahu, that's all they've got. Really yeah, like I'm starting to understand the faults in my source here. There's, there's, <laughs> there's plenty of other people in Israel. Um, they, they, but I don't know Why if he can come back now. Why did he survive so long? 
Well, because he kind of, he, he truly did what Darwin said. Uh, the strongest are the ones that adapt. He was a bit of like a Malcolm Turnbull figure where he was kind of center right, moderate kind of person. He was never a lefty, but he was kind of moderate. And then he realized that, no, actually, if I be really right wing, I could get elected more often. And he right. was right. And he came back with this new fervor and that kept him in power until now when I think Israel regrets this whole situation. They wouldn't say it, but they regret it. Domestically, how was he? I suppose Palestine is domestic. He was already on a razor-thin margin. <coughs> no, but in terms of what he did for Israel, do you think that they're better off or worse as a result? Of <coughs> Dude, I'm going to say this. Like, Israelis, Israelis are fucking good. Like, all of them do great things for their country. They just do bad things to the rest of the, the, rest of the countries. Yeah. But they, they're, they're killing it. Like... Israel has really progressed, and it's not just him; it's all the others before them too, mm. that have made it into like this, ma- like this amazing tech- technological hub in the middle of the Middle yeah, East. Man, cures for cancer. Remember your them. landlord. I that's what happens when your power base, instead of being the mining industry sucking the thing that makes you wealthy, your power base is just stepping on uh, Palestinian kids' heads. Jeez. Shit. Yeah get like a lot I'd say Panthera but like there's no point really <laughs> well I mean he's out now so <laughs> <laughs> who's gonna get he's us gonna stop me wait who's out <laughs> yeah, no no but there even <laughs> what army <laughs> <laughs> there is merit to that that like you know when you don't have cause we just our entire e- e- economy and our affluence is based on the fact that we've got this amazing treasure and we keep selling gold coins. Mm-hmm. That's what we do, right? That's our economy. Keep that's not prizes. That's not Israel's economy. Yeah. So they had to learn a way to figure shit out. But I suppose what I'm saying is that their invisible government would have an interest in them advancing, yeah. whereas yeah. our invisible government. <laughs> As an interest <coughs> in keeping us crocodile Dundee, mm. Mm. yeah, it's probably yeah. yeah it's definitely, there's yeah. there's merits to that too. Yeah, sure. Yeah, kind of sad, isn't it? That really, if you are afforded the opportunity, virtually anyone can make your country better. It's hard. Mm. Like they are, they are very uh, <laughs> these Jews. You know, they're, they're very smart. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's a joke. That's a joke. Yeah, but but, but is that an insult? You. Uh, yeah, I suppose. I suppose a lot of commentators on ESPN have been outed for saying exactly the same thing you just did. Yeah, and look, I, I would Pakistani. be outed too. Huh? You watch it, you're but you like water. I, I, <laughs> when I when I was in Pakistan, the only way you could get cancelled. Yeah. yeah, Israel is like super. Like I remember when I was growing up in Pakistan, I was watching this TV show, and this morning show host comes on, and she's like. We figured out why the Jews are really smart. It's because they eat a lot of fish. Hey, I don't think that there's anything... She, she might be right. Not big fish. Japanese eat a lot of a lot fish. Of mercury. Look at them and they're also a very mercury, smart. A lot of mercury in big fish, though. They eat small fish. This is very, very racy, and I'm going to avoid this. Oh, we're talking this. about fish. <laughs> this is not... What? Fish hey, fingers? Look, it's triggering fish me fingers? as an avid aquarist, but other than ah. that... <laughs> and a big fish advocate. <laughs> yeah, he eats heaps of salmon. Uh, yeah. You know what we found out? Isn't this so indicative of both of our personalities? If a fish is alive, I know everything about it. Hmm. If a fish is at a market, Miss Love knows everything about it. As soon it. as it's going, bah, I'm just like, yeah, hey. as, as soon as it's no longer got a head, as soon as it's a fish. <laughs> I remember my dad once telling me, I was like, hey, hey, when I was a kid, I was like, hey, dad, um, sa- why, do, why do people say that Jews are smarter than us? And he was like, well, it kind of is true. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, look at the Nobel Prizes. They've won hundreds. Mm. We've won three. You've <laughs> won three? And two yeah. are in Pakistan. Go. No, not Pakistan. I'm talking about all Muslims oh, in this. Right, Holy right. shit. And two were just left over. Some guy just went. We yeah. have won one. And we have disowned the man who's won that oh, too. Because he's from a slightly different sect to the rest of the Muslims. Yeah. True story. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, uh, maybe that's why you didn't win so many. Yeah, and <laughs> and they are <laughs> one tenth of our population, even lower. And they won way more. Yeah. Whatever they're doing, their education, it's working. Something is working. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not just, you know. It's not just fish, I'm guessing, but like. <laughs> maybe it is. You guys don't eat any. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think like the, I don't think based purely on diets, yeah. Pakistan's Much- fucking losing. I mean, you yeah. guys said that. 
from true, my understanding, true. from my understanding, from the from you guys retelling tales of your visits to your your uh, you know hometown. Motherland. Uh, when when you asked for vegetables, they asked if you were homosexuals. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. Okay. So but, we're, uh, <laughs> well, I think I think we're onto something here. If you eat fish and vegetables, you're smart. If you eat exclusively mutton, <laughs> but that's every, that's 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 uh, common you got the sense. Words of both Your food mutton. is a combination of Indian and American cuisine <laughs> slapped into one. What, what what was the best thing you had there? What was the worst? Was the worst the deep fried? I bet you the best thing for Ali. Was the f- I'm I, I can't describe it any other way. It was just the fattiest burger patty I've ever seen in my the life. It was the one. size of your head, Miss Love. Maybe even mine. Mine's probably the biggest here. It was the size of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget. And it was laced with bone marrow. <laughs> wow. Laced with bone marrow. That was its seasoning. Mm, Cooked in animal good. fat. Fuck. And I'll uh, two and I were dying <laughs> eating it. I, I'm pretty sure that's the reason that my heart beats a regular ah, It wasn't the coffee. It was Couldn't that. even handle it. Yeah. Fuck. And Ali looks at us while both of us are sitting there on the verge of throwing up. And he's like, something to matter? <laughs> you're, you're, you're not going to finish that, are you? He just goes in for it. What's it called in Huduru? Uh, you'd actually like it. It's called What's it in Hudus. It's what is it? Chapley Kebab. Charlie Chaplin's favorite. Dude, that's fucking <laughs> mad. Of course, when Chaplin visited Pakistan in the 60s, that's what he wanted. He said, yeah, g'day, 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 Chaplin g'day, never g'day. visited. What do you want? Every kind of meat rolled into one with animal fat. And they're like, okay. And bone well, marrow. a truly borderless man because he can't talk and has to communicate everything through sign language. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> so that was your favorite. Ah, bone marrow but, burger. But you guys <laughs> did eat fish. You went to a bloody fish Yeah, farm. we had trout. That's true, but deep like, fried trout. Are oh, they deep fried it <laughs> with Coke? Yep. Okay. So Cocaine. The only drink available there. No. Okay. No Pepsi. Oh, of course, my <laughs> mistake. The old rivals. Don't fuck those two up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't think Coke's available in Pakistan. Yeah, in select stores. Did yeah. you try the green? It's so one? old, it still has pictures of pink on the front of it. <laughs> 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 Take me back to that time. Uh, did you did you drink the green Pepsi? What's it called again? Packy, Packy Cola. I drank it on this podcast, and yeah. then I learned not to drink it in Pakistan. Right. <laughs> Dude, why do people hate it? It's actually not I bad. I didn't hate it. I just didn't like it. It's. Can, I, you, can you bring right. more? Can you bring more? Can we do it again? Well, if you're gonna pay it out, my well, feelings get hurt. Well, I, I did, I, did I pay it out last time? Yes, yes you, you did. did. <laughs> more so than I did. My bad. You really hated it. Well, it must which now explains weird. why you want to have it again. Yeah, that that's your nature psychology. as well. Yeah, I that's always want to go works. back again. I'm like uh, two or three times before I decide I don't like something. You know? Yeah, it's Very admirable. Safe. Um, yeah. Look, conclusive fish. I mean, Tony Robbins eats a lot of fish. He also has mercury that is six <laughs> times <laughs> what a normal human being. That's has because in their he body. ate the big fish. He didn't know. He was like, "Small fish, they're called trash fish. I don't eat that. I eat swordfish." Uh huh. Now you have mercury poisoning. It was worth it. <laughs> I know. So good. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? He probably has more mercury in his body than nineteen hundreds aristocrats with those top hats that were just laced in mercury. Oh my god! And he's still alive at a sixty-year-old man. Yelling at me in seminars that I'm not doing enough star jumps. Jesus, amazing! You can't kill him. Hey, you got some? Uh, you got a poll that you'll be interested in? Catch. Oh, uh, what is it? Next, who sucks more, <laughs> Geordies? All right, all right. Uh, next guest, Benny's. Next class of Geordies guest, Paul Keating, Barnaby Joyce, or Adam Bant. Look, I would love Paul Keating as much as the next man, but Do let's it. be honest, Paul Keating probably hates me more than Barnaby Joyce. <laughs> Unless so I think it'll be Barnaby. The next man is Bob Hawke. You know what else I've noticed about myself? Bob. Whenever I'm with somebody and interviewing them, I can't do a hard interview. I'm not that kind of guy. No, that's not true. You I'm a Tonight Show yeah, host. Everyone knows. Right, right, that's you know, true. Like that's I, true I, every that's time true. I'm ever with someone and I feel the situation getting uncomfortable, I probably unconsciously make the situation uncomfortable <laughs> as proven in all of my uh, interviews, but I don't try to do it. Right. And so if I was there with Barnaby, I'd just be like, yeah, so have you ever thought about sunscreen, mate? Okay, that's the tough question. You want. <laughs> All right, uh, how's you look, your family? Everyone knows Jordan's a bit <laughs> of a softie. <laughs> that's your perception. 
Damn. No, it's just, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's just I, I've got that personality where I hate feeling that someone else is uncomfortable in reality. Yeah, dude, and, and, and rightly so. Like, uh, there's, a, there's yeah. a few people that do the whole antagonistic thing. Not everyone has to do it. Yeah, it's not really I wish I had fun. it. I really do wish I had it, but I really have noticed this about myself when people are always saying, Geordie's is a true journalist. Dude, I'm in the same way that Jay Leno was a <laughs> front journalist. No, but you've got no yeah. problem r- walking up to, like, members of the establishment with, like, prop hands. Yes, because it's a joke at that point. I can be harsh to someone if it's kind of laced with this is all a gag. If it's a if it's a if it's a but skit. Yeah, I think I've just got my instinct gag. of just being trained as a comedian by myself for the last 10 years. I actually feel uncomfortable in a situation that isn't jokey now. Mm. Right. Just like right now. Just be- yeah, 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 you're jittering. <laughs> like this podcast. Just because, just because uh, you've you've immersed yourself in that sort of culture, that psychology for so long. So if someone's just sort of like... And also, yeah. And yeah, also right. when everything, anything's ever serious for longer than three seconds, there's just that yeah, 1920s true. voice of being like, you're losing them. Take out the flapping jicky. Oh, you don't have one. You got a t-shirt from Kmart. <laughs> just take it off. Anything you can. Anything for a laugh. You're just a comedian that's stuck in a political world. Yeah, it's true. It's real. No, look, but you uh, do that, like that. But you do also have the ability to like look at the camera and be like, "There, look, look what they're doing to my friend. This thing that affects him is is really affecting you. This is the system. Is this is our system's corrupt? It's fucking. They can line their pockets. You can do that too. Yeah, that's my inner monologue, I suppose. Right. That's the difference between dialogue and monologue, I suppose. Right. Is that I'm grasping here. Look, all I'm saying is whenever I'm around somebody else, I try to make the situation jokey. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah and as soon as it's not jokey, I'm out. Right. I want to get out of there as quickly as possible. That's not healthy. No, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, well, dude, this is what I'm, you're a healthy man <laughs> in every way except actual health. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm trying to help you here. I'm trying to help you. I want you to be uh, happy and healthy. Yeah, look, if you want tips on how to be emotionally healthy, you ask that man it's right about there. all I got going for me. But, like, that, you know, you should you should feel comfortable to sit in, like... Uncomfortable situations. No, not necessarily. You should be able to stand or... You should, it's good. I, I feel like you should be able to sort of stand... Be in a situation where there's just... You know, nothing happening, like silence, and then you can just kind of be like, down with it. And I can do that. You can do that, yeah. Well, then you're fine. In fact, that's most of our interactions. But then you're good. You're talking to me, and then you're not listening and saying that's "That's nice. That's true. But that's that's. I'm not saying you should ignore people. (laughs) Uh I'm I'm saying me in particular. I do need these lessons. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Okay, you don't ignore them. You need lessons on electricity. I need electricity. I'm doing fine with electricity, thank you, but. (laughs) <laughs> personally, but I, I think, yeah, you, there's a difference between just being in your own world and being like, hmm, tax reform and ignoring someone and rather than just kind of being in the moment, present, and not feeling the need to impress anyone. Put out a fake hand. Hey, Miss no, no, Love. No, to impress anyone. You don't have to bother. Sh- sorry, need to interrupt <laughs> this. Miss Love, you just got a message on Hinge. <laughs> Check it out. What does it say? Check you don't have it. to read it out. Okay. I don't care how filthy it is. Ha ha. Nice, nice one. penis. Ah, uh, right, okay. Well, who's telling the truth here? I'm going to say it's Ali. I am. You can't send okay, photos well, on Hinge. What, what's, what's, the, what's the deal with this one? Uh, yeah, well, tune into the up late pod and we'll... Uh... All right, okay, last point. Did you guys check this out? <laughs> but wait, was my psychology uh, yeah, analysis yeah. good? You're going to be no, sorted, you're right? right. I think that if I'm ever going to do a hard-hitting interview, I will need to just wear the nappy. No, you fuck. I'm saying when you're... Nothing t- else. I'm saying... Okay, no, this is my... This is my... This is my... This is, my, this is what I put to you. If you meet another fan, you're not allowed to feign interest in the least. If they're genuinely interesting, let's, let's be no, honest, they that's probably won't be. horrible you advice. Can't be. And then, no, it's not. You don't have to be he hates cu- like 99.9% of the population. No, but you don't It'll have to just be, be a meeting where you're like, you're a fucking psycho. No, Next one, a, you look no, hideous. No, don't be a cunt. Okay. Just don't be a cunt. Just be, just a, be cunt. a bu- <laughs> Well, then just turn that off and just try to siphon, just try to channel a tiny bit of Buddha and be like, you're a being. I am a being. You probably like eating small uh, fish like me. Yes, that's that. 
I don't need to interject with anything. You really I'm just don't understand nod. how my head works, Miss. I'm trying to change it. I understand it. the merits of Buddhism, but I am not a practicing Buddhist. Time I can't to start. do it. You have to start. Why? Oh, it'd be amazing if I could shut that voice off. Do the it. The reason that you're able to do it. We I don't, discussed this before. Because I don't have you a don't voice. You don't have any dialogue. <laughs> I don't have a voice. <laughs> Which yeah. is bizarre. Because I thought insane. everyone did. Yeah, no, I don't. You don't think. Truly yeah, I enlightened think, man. I think I just don't have inner dialogue. My thoughts are like dreams whooshing around. They're like, there's one. Oh, it's gone. There's one. Oh, it's Dude, gone. he's a superhuman. <laughs> Or, or is he not a human? Yeah, one of the other. <laughs> one of the how dogs think. But you would be happier if you didn't have to, you know, put on a show. Yes, I would. So just I'm read so the book tired. you gave so me. Very tired. Read the what? book that I borrowed from you. That's like Buddhism for the idiot guy. Just read that again. I've read books that aren't Buddhism. Well, then what are you it's doing God. wrong? I'm just not a present man. How are we going to change I think him? it's just... Look, He's a future man. And the other thing is, my entire day is sitting around synthesizing your, complicated your information environment and turning it into jokes. Your That's the yeah. pattern your, of my your life. Your environment isn't in conducive to you being a present person. That's fair. No. And you've actually... Uh, you've actually and I think that's uh, just or, what happens to writers. Well, writers aren't present. Mm, that's true, but you've, you've orchestrated your life to... And he's supposed to be a writer too. Exactly. I'm not a writer. <laughs> you have well, orchestrated... You know, a lot of his notes are t- 25 t- minutes to 37 minutes. And then you see the joke that he's included, and it's just this: "Say ha ha." <laughs> <laughs> Beats his stuff. <laughs> it does. It definitely uh, does. But, just doesn't translate to camera. But I feel like you, <laughs> you're not reading More it right. You're not doing it well <laughs> enough. Uh, but you, uh, you probably, you probably like bolstered your environment to like, to like, you know, to to to, to, to uh, sorry. You, you've you've na- navigated your environment to bolster up the situation, so it's just like you've you've created the job that's just like this job requires you to not be present, and in fact, you don't have to be present. Now that you can afford not to be, you, the present doesn't have to even exist. Yeah, you're right. But that's I'll tell you what. Tell you the only time I actually really am present. The sauna. This podcast. Oh. Sauna. You yeah, you can't that. not be present there. That's just like being in Fiji after climate change. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the pod, yeah, the podcast is actually you're right, but that's that's he's a real entertainer because the only time he's present is just like is this thing on? Okay, let's do this shit. Netanyahu's out, you know, like you have to do that kind of. Tell you what, I am really addicted to it, and it's not. I, I was talking about this in my editor the other day. But you day, should do it in real saying, life too. Do you dummy. have an urge to be famous? And I said no. I've got an urge to perform. But you kind of need to be famous to perform. Yeah, because you want people to see you. Obviously, yeah, yeah, it's of course. a very sad feeling. No, it's the fact. Um, you know, performing to two hippies <laughs> and one bikey yelling at you. Take which it from I've me. done a lot of those. Take it from me. That's still your life. No, well. it's not. But I've done that. Not, he is, is the it? the one of the two hippies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Be more present, dude. It's better for your health. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's what I'm saying. I think I'm just addicted to the performance lifestyle. And so if I'm sitting there, because look, I suppose there's an element of performance to doing a, you know, sit down, hard hitting questions, welcome to BBC. Yeah, it's not talking to your mum. But it's not the performance that I'm conditioned to. Yeah. It's night show Is is that another word for an adrenaline junkie? Well, that is my version of adrenaline. adrenaline. My version of jumping out of a plane. Of course, is it's adrenaline. No, but like, but bit. performing is adrenaline, isn't that? Like, yeah. I remember reading about this somewhere that child soldiers, when you rehabilitate them, all they want to do is <laughs> go second. back to fight Can wars. I just read this grub. Yeah, that's me. Can I just yeah. read this? Replace that with guns with jokes. Grub dog. Friendly Geordies just needs to sub to Jordan Shanks on YouTube. <laughs> Dude, that is kind of true, though. It's just like reading all this shit and then like, good you call. Know, he practices it. In fact, Jordan's good generally, and he does practice what he preaches. But like, I just can't imagine having to be on. Except all the time. for the so fact tired. that he votes liberal every. <laughs> like surely yeah, it's tiring. to practice the Jordan Shanks teachings, not the friendly Jordan's <laughs> teachings. Yeah. All right. Well, I couldn't do it. We've man. dissected it enough. One last thing, because this is. Did you guys hear about this? The AFP and FBI collaborated on the biggest cr- organized crime bust in history. And they're they saying finally got Al Capone <laughs> from his grave. No, they uh, they basically what they did was 
Um, apparently, over a couple of bees in 2018, yeah. they uh, came up with this app, which That's was a, supposed to be an encrypted app, and but like the police could monitor everything. And so they released that app, or they, I guess, somehow convinced some of the criminals to start using it. And then they used all of that information to simultaneously bust over 100 criminals in not just in Australia, but like worldwide. They were busts in the US, in Europe. How? What, so it's like hinge for crims. Cringe. Pretty much. Well, you know how like uh, you uh, some people use We... Uh, no, not WeChat. That's the Chinese one. Um, hinge. No, the one for... <laughs> Ask Jeeves. No, the one that's for drugs. Which one's Yahoo. that? Oh, the dark web shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> uh, Ask Jeeves. No, there's an app. What's the app called? Oh, Ask uh, Jeeves Silk app. Road? Ask Jeeves <laughs> and neither of those. <laughs> Fuck. It's... Um, ask, ask app. The Ask app. Is it Fiverr? No, no, no. It's the Silk it's Road. It's not Fiverr. No, no. I think it's Silk Road. I think it is Silk Road, No, dude. no. It's something else. Okay, give, tell me in the comments, which is the, uh, so the, the drug app? The disordered? People that use drugs. Oh, there is a name for it. Yeah, what Wh- is Oh, it? that's I'm right. I'm sure there is. Thank you, N. Delmo Wicker. That's what it's called. Uh, so they made a like a. Yeah, that's not a drug app. app. I've got Whip, Wicker. It's just untraceable. Dude, it's you. It's drugs. being used for drugs. No, I don't use it for drugs. I use it for other things. <laughs> like what? <laughs> it's just Wicker's use. It's just detects for. It's like detects police on your thing. What? It detects where there's cops are. When you're, well, when you're, the cops no, 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 are. No, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's an undetectable message communication system. So you can be like. I would imagine that would be helpful if you're trying to trace. Exactly. Drugs. So they just. Tapped into it, dude. Yeah. You told me about it. Remember when one time this in this hypothetical situation, I wanted something, and, and I you said, said go on it. and you said go, go on this app I and hit it. up this person, yeah. and they've just busted a whole bunch of people for it. Not for that app, but it was some other app that basically the police uh, Phew, started I it, themselves. That was I'll keep using uh, dude, it, dude. I, I freaked out a little bit too. I, I don't <laughs> think. Let's hope it's not Thank wicker. God. No, no it's, I, it's something else. But they arrested. Which kind of makes me sad because I know sad. this is a weird opinion to have, but like, Beach I like one. mafia movies and I'm always on the mafia side. We could have got everything. Well, that's the whole point of them, isn't it? What? They're trying to show it from their perspective, aren't they? Wait, who's trying to show it from their perspective? It's a mafia film. No, it's, it's not a film, but I'm saying, imagine how many mafia films could have been made if they didn't do this bust and arrested all the mafia guys. But they did arrest Or they would be boring. I don't think so. Showing, there's no difference between a mafia film and YouTube than just reacting to messages. <laughs> no, do like, do? don't you? Aren't you guys interested in like? Uh, I, I always like watching shit from. I like that the, crime the Calabrian shit. mafia stories love, from like eighties yeah. Australia. Those those stories are mad. It I was like always more, about weed. Do I like you more like America. the mafia? A little bit. I mean, I, I'm not saying that you go, be, but it's their lives are interesting, man. Like, have you seen that American? Have you seen American Gangster? You have to convince me, yeah. When Denzel shit. is just sitting there and he's like, "Let me, guys, I, I know, just, I'm just, I'm just need to take care of the situation." Goes outside, shoots a guy in the head, and comes back, and he's like, "So, what were we talking about?" That's fucked because he just killed someone. But all I could think at that point was, "Baus, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I've watched." Uh, well, it is. I've watched. Goodfellas many times. Exactly. Some of those, I'm on the same page. But what, I blame Scorsese. But wait, your point is it's a, it's a bummer they caught all these all these uh, mafiosos because they could have kept doing their crime syndicates and one day they could have gotten busted and they could have had biopics made about them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Fair. He fair. gets me. Fair. This man gets me. I, I, right. Fair. Right. fair. Right. I agree right. with right. you. Right. Right. <laughs> but but now that we've got all of these people in prison. Maybe some people can go in, ask them their stories, and we can get more yeah, biopics made now, from that. But now we're just going to get bullshit Netflix uh, crime things where it's like, so, do you admit that you killed him? I ain't saying I killed him. Did you? Will you admit you stabbed him? Yeah, I stabbed him. You know, it's just like, oh, it's so boring. I hate that shit. And they're piecing things together like Giovanni's... Poor choice of name. <laughs> but, you know, like sort of like uh, Luciano's family... Lived on 53rd. The Sanchonellis lived on 54th. They used to switch uh, places every drunk run. And they, did you know that they also used to, they grew up together and they got cannoli from the same place. Tune in next week for the, <laughs> for the next riveting chapter. And of you these just know the director is smoking a vape. <laughs> mm. All right. 
That's yeah, not as you're right. As like the Irishman or some shit, you know? Yeah, but is is the organized crime syndicate in Australia that bad? Uh, boring. I would. Yeah. It, well, I don't know about that. Yeah, I, I don't so. know what it's like now, but Underbelly was pretty damn popular. Mm. I th- maybe it's just because that's the only. That's shows the one that's that nine makes. That, that's that the one about like uh, Kyle Sandland's best mate, right? <laughs> one of them. Yeah. Oh, really? True yeah. story. And something else that I can't talk about either, but I'll tell you off the pod. I might even tell you on up late. So there's another sign hey, up, become a sign patron. Up. Speaking of which, give us some more money. Inflation's know, killing us. I don't know if we can even uh, monitor this in any way, but if we get twenty new patreons, he's wearing, wearing a, nappy. a nappy. But we can't monitor it. We, we don't know how to. All right, all right. I'll I'm monitor wearing it. a nappy next time. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll monitor it. It goes down. Uh, no, don't say that. Christ. Um, Look, you know you want to. That's where the juice comes. And then we need juice to put in these. You see how it goes? It's cyclical. Yeah. Spoken like a true Buddhist. Okay, how about this? Someone saying hot tub tr- stream then. You give us, I'll check. Hot tub? Hot tub. You know We've the whole Twitch tub. thing? Spa. Fuck. Yeah, we can do it with bar salts and everything. Look, I know that If I'm- we get 50 patrons, please, <laughs> then we will do a hot tub stream. Yeah, and if we get a hundred patrons, we will do it naked. And if we and get one well, naked, is anyway, a true feat because it is a public hot tub. Shit! What? Yeah, dude, <laughs> I just realized that it'll be fucked. Just a old Chinese man nestling right up to us live, and like you're on TV, I'm like whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah, he won't care. We'll be uncomfortable because he's not getting naked. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what it looks like when you're 60. Ah. Well, we got to end the pod at some point On now. That note, it's <laughs> been fun. It's great. been great. We've it had, has been great. That just flew by. That did fly We've by. We've had the time of our lives. We learned about Netanyahu. I uh, forget the rest. Electricity. Ohm's Law. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we learned that Miss Love knows how to work that sound effect machine like a king. Yeah. Really? Like you said, the hat, man. It's still yeah. on. Yeah. No, no, I'm just and rocking it's the same out. music. Is this just to remind you of last episode where two said, Mishla, you've got yeah, the Yeah, I loved that. And it's just like, re- like I said, replay that endlessly in my head. Then, uh, yeah, Mom, I made it. I did it, Mom. I'm a success. I played Splendor once and then everyone forgot about me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't forget about you. Thanks, man. Thanks so much. Also, I didn't man. even know that you is played Splendor. Splendor you guys, isn't it? No, I didn't it's play Splendor. It's just like, coming up next, The Who. Not the band, just <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> That's the Australian cycle of music. We did Splendor. Oh, Triple J dropped us. Well, now we work in a guitar training. shop. <laughs> hey. See you next week. Hey, miss, uh, hit guys. the last button, and that's the end of it. All right, let's play us out again. <laughs> <laughs> Join up on pra- Patreon, you sheepskates. Love you all. Yes.